Hello Hootubians, welcome back to another Dot Spicer 10 YouTube video and today we are looking at the the retail version of the 14th Doctor's Sonic Screwdriver uh, made by Character. Um, I have reviewed one of these before, well not this particular version, I've actually reviewed the, um, the online exclusive which I've got here for comparison. Um, so yeah, can't wait to get on with it. Now this video wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for a good mate of mine, uh, Creed Productions, aka River. I'll leave his Instagram in the description below so you guys can check it out. Because I am partnered with I am partnered with him for a uh, future projects and stuff, uh, Creed Studios. Uh, so I'll leave the link for that as well. Or oh, I'll just leave the link for that one actually, because you'll find the others on um, on there. So. Now, I'm going to show off the box at first, so we have the Doctor Who Diamond Style pack, uh, Packaging-esque look here. We have the BBC Doctor Who 60 Years logo, which is basically identical to the one on the online exclusive, uh, with light and sound effects featuring extending opening emitter. The 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver, electro electronic lights and sound effects, we have a promo picture there, like we have down like so. Um, and then on the side in there you have like the instructions and stuff and on the back you've got more legal information uh, and you've got the promo image there nothing on the side, I like that, well, it looks nice, it reminds it's a bit like Star Wars packaging it's this starry texture which looks really cool and I really do wish that character would return this for the B&M releases but obviously the packaging has changed for them a choking hazard, great, looking forward to that. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, and obviously we have the sad comparisons here real quick. We have the back. So, yeah, uh, And but the only difference is, is that this one says on that exclusive, this one doesn't. Um, so, yeah. Um... So we have the bio of the screwdriver, which is slightly different to the um, the online exclusive. Um, so I'm just going to let you read them. So pause the video, read these, and unpause. Done it? Good. Uh, on the bottom's the same. So yeah. Um, but yeah, let's uh, open it up. So here we have the 14th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver uh, out of the box. Now I've got to say, um, it's slightly different to the Onan exclusive. So here's the Onan exclusive, and here is the the retail version. Um, I bought this from. Well, I didn't technically. Well, I technically part paid for it. I've still got to finish paying for it yet. Um, because um, I didn't have the money at the time to order this, um, and I asked a mate of mine, River to uh, do me a solid, and he has, and yeah, so thanks mate, um, his turned up today, and I had a feeling mine would turn up today as well, so yeah, so looking at it, you can probably, you can see the difference, like we have the non-chrome, and we have the chrome, um, the weight obviously is the same, um, the crackle effect is more prominent on the the retail version than it is on the the online exclusive um also the stitching the leather handle section basically is slightly different so is the the bronzy gold cup uh color as well which i'll uh, zoom in and of course you've got the twist a bit at the bottom um, obviously I have another I have another one of these, but the other one's broken. I'll get to in a minute. Um, now extending the screwdriver is a lot more. Um, I don't want to really say the word because it sounds wrong, but stiff. Um, it's more it's it's stiff to um, you know, get it extended. Whereas the re the online exclusive is a little bit more straightforward, you know. Um. Now, I will give you a warning that if you extend the screwdriver too much, um, it will cause your screwdriver to basically break. So here's my completely busted one, which um, I was gutted. Um, in fact, I got that one um, 
a friend bought me that one without me knowing, so <laughs> thanks. Um, so yeah, it does actually still extend, but I can show you the inner workings. Um, so you've got your bottom bit there. Um, it's not easy to take apart because you have to pry this bit off and then you have to pry the chrome off. And then you'll be able to cut off the little black plastic tab in there. I've had to cut this. Let's get that out. So you can see the mechanism. So that's the, the inner bit in there. Um, in fact, the wiring isn't really clever either. Um, but it is strong plastic. And that's where the circuit board is buried. <laughs> and that's basically speaker wire what they've used. And that's your slider plate, which I did mention in the video, the review of the online exclusive, that I had a feeling that it would have a button, you know, a bit further down, and this would be acting as the switch, which I was right, surprisingly. Um, so this one, I'm going to try and fix up a little bit at some point, because I've got some perspex I can make the new, the, uh, the cage section with, because the, the newer ones... In fact, it's a clear plastic, so it's a cheaper plastic they've used, um, which I've really got to put this back together, but I'll do that later. Um, so if I wanted to, I could put this bottom on there, um, which means I've got a spare bit, which is always handy to have, because, um, in fact, the glue came undone on this accidentally, but, you know, it's still, you know, still usable. Um, so, yeah, now... This bit does rotate. Um, people are saying the matte, the, the non-chrome version is a little bit more accurate. But there is the downside of not having the extra features such as the online exclusive. Where the online exclusive has these extra sounds which the box or anywhere doesn't state it has the extra features. Um, but people figured out for themselves because they're clever. Um, but if you undo the battery compartment, there is no button there, and that's just trying to roll away. There is no button there, in fact it's blocked off, um, so you cannot access the secret features, which is a bit of a downside, um, because um, people who didn't manage to get the on online exclusive, um, they could have had the same features in the retail version, but they've had to wait a little bit longer. But, you know, character being character, you know. Um, so, when extending the screwdriver, um, keep an eye out on the features. Now, you'll instantly notice that the, the, the retail version is a lot more brighter in the claws than it is on the online exclusive. Now, on the actual prop, there's actually little LEDs in the top. Now, because that's a bit hard to accomplish with character, I don't mind that because the reflect the, the light reflects onto the inside of the uh, the claws, and it does have these little indents of little squares which the light does catch onto. So it does it it does give the impre impression of the LEDs, which looks really fantastic. Um, so I've got one for my Sony screwdriver pegboard and I've got one for my replicas because this one is more of a replica than it is of a toy for kids, really. Um, but um, if you're going to have, if you've got the, re uh, the on an exclusive um, and you want the retail version, I recommend you go for the retail version because the on an exclusive um, is what is one of these where it's you know the prone to have problems um like in one video someone's had theirs change sh shift colors as it extended um as you can tell through oh, as you can tell through the the beaten up one um there is the leds in there so as the you know the wires are moving obviously it must have cross wires but yeah it shows you know, I like the functionality of the um, the screwdriver. I'm actually warming up to the design of it, and I quite love it. Um, to be honest, it feels like a prop, this one. This one feels like, you know, the real deal. 
Um, but obviously, Roboto replicas have announced to obviously make their own run of the 14th Doctor screwdriver. So, yeah. Um, now, I do recommend you get one of these. Um, there are from the Who Shop currently. I actually have a leaflet from them. So that's the Who Shop in London. Um, which I've yet to got to go there. <laughs> um, in fact, this is the only thing I've got from the Who Shop, apparently. Um, it comes in a nice little box, actually. The the label I'm not going to show because it's got my address on it. It has the picture of the tile saying the Who Shop, which is actually pretty neat. Um... As soon as I heard this thing arrived, I literally ran down the stairs like it was Christmas. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so that's you know my my thought on the screwdriver. Um, in fact, I'm going to stand these up here. So you have the online exclusive and you have the retail version, which will be out in B and M's and retail stores and characters website at some point. Um, so yeah, um, I do, I do think that these are worth, you know, your money. Um, I mean, they are higgledy piggledy on the online exclusive for the you know ongoing problems and their issues, but you know, it's always nice to see a non-chrome version because people say the non-chrome is a little bit more accurate than the chrome. Um, in fact, the chrome is actually electroplated. Um, you know, whereas this one, the paint would rub off in days or something like that. And I quite like the new silver they've used. It's it's a lot better, and I prefer this silver on the on the screwdriver. I do prefer it if they start using this silver for the um, the older versions of the screwdrivers. In fact, I have the 12th Doctors here, the one I modified. You can tell how different that the silver, you know, is. That one's modified. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so if I wanted to, I could say, you know, don't like that one. I do, but yeah, I could put that one on, which gives it the, you know, but then again, it's not as, you know, it doesn't really look right because you've got the chrome bit there, but it is a nice addition to have an extra piece now and again. So yeah, um, it is... It is stated... Hold on a minute. Ah, oh, it's just me. It is stated in a magazine that you can put an actual screwdriver bit in there. Um, for some reason. Um, I've not tried that yet. Um, a friend of mine, the Nerds Archive, um, which I'll leave his the Instagram in the description below. He's done that. And it was pretty nuts to see that feature, to be honest. It was. Now, character could have gone a different route of the 14th Doctor screwdriver. You know how the 11th and 12th Doctor Sonics, you know, have the inner tube? They could have done something like that. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe and check out my other content. See you soon. Alonzo Alonzo.